how crazy is that? I came down to get Chino and he's just standing here at the gate all by himself. So it is nighttime and I'll explain as soon as I catch him. So I caught Chino all by myself. So uh, this morning, you guys will have seen, if you watched yesterday's video, you will have seen that when we came out to get our horses yesterday morning, or when we came out to get our horses this morning, they all ran and we're like, no, I'm not going. Chino was the first one to walk off. He was like, nope, it's not gonna happen. And what's super weird about that is it's a sign. I always am saying it's a sign, it's a sign. Well today, just now, the farrier called and said, hey, I'm gonna come around seven o'clock, is that okay? I said, yeah, of course it's okay. Hey, whenever there's a situation and I don't know how to go forward or I feel lost, like I don't know the answer, I stop and I give it to God. I give it to God and I gave it to God to have our farrier show up when he was meant to show up and then the farrier called and said I'm coming at 7 and I walked down to the to the bar Gabby was still getting ready to come out and as I walked here Chino was alone at the gate as if he was saying I know I'm getting my shoe fixed now I'm coming in with you and then when I went to, out there to get him which can be trouble if all three come to the gate I went out there I got him it was like it was meant to be when you let God write your story when you you let God lead you great things happen you guys like this just seems so silly and so simple and so nothing but I promise you that when you get into the habit of letting God guide you and you let God write your story it is so much easier it's like going out there and having somebody mentor you it's it's go try it watch for the signs give it up to God and see all the good things that can happen you wanted to come in huh I just said where are the kittens <laughs> They're in bed. They're already in bed. You guys have been hunting mice and playing, and you're in bed already. What a I weird. Where they were. Do you want to get them uh, one of those cat houses that yeah, with fur on you, Mom. they they can climb up high and sleep in? Yeah. I think it'd be good for winter too. Hello, kitty. Hello, baby kitty. She purring. Yeah, she's such a purr. Oh. That is loud. That is loud. Look at how handsome he's turning. He's filling in a way that makes him even more handsome. Yeah, yeah he, he's got purring headphones. Whoa, that hurts my brain. <laughs> my cat's not purring anymore. Purr. Purr. <laughs> if I kissed you, would you purr? Look at how cute he's getting. He's actually getting like a full face and he's turning into a man right before our eyes. He is purring so loud. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, we came down a few minutes early because I wanted to sweep and make sure that our barn is clean because you know, you don't want your farrier to arrive when you got a messy barn. Looking good, Chino Bambino. Sophia's, see what she's gonna chew out of this. I know, we're gonna, gonna I know. I'm and then you're gonna have to buy a new one because he's your horse. These are Sophia's cross ties. So yeah. There. Yeah. Crazy man. Sometimes it's nice to be down in the barn when it's not chore time. You always find a way to get the things done that you need to get done that you never have time to do. All right, you wanna ride him? Huh? You wanna ride him? Why? Cause you finally can and he hasn't been ridden in a week. Sure. All right, you wanna just jump on bareback? You wanna put on a saddle? What do you wanna do? Just oh, hit her in the head, she wants to ride you. Molly. Farrier came, put the shoe back on. Luckily we had the shoe, it was really fast. And Molly's like, yes, treats! So we're gonna take a couple of extra minutes tonight and take Chino out and see if the not having a shoe on has made any difference to his foot. I didn't ask the farrier if he had bruising still. He did take away some growth, so. It feels like I haven't had a bit in my life in a while. I know, he's like, I should never have went to the gate! <laughs> Big, handsome, healthy boy. Oh. Yeah, I know. I want to go on another trail. You want to go to another trail? Yeah, when he sound. Gabby said, watch him. And I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to watch him. He's going to follow Gabby. This guy has... This guy has really nice hair. The reason I like it is because it's really thick but it's fine, so it and doesn't... one person thought that he had a tail extension in. Yeah, somebody like... thought that he had a tail extension, but he doesn't, it, it doesn't like knot and stuff. 
got it, some really good backing out of here. Yeah, Gabby backs them out all the time. You can't turn around. Watch out, Molly. You're going to get kicked. Molly. Molly, get. Step. Good boy. Molly can't. Molly can't figure out that the horse is. Mo Molly can't figure out that the horse is going backwards. Fanny's like, "What's happening? <laughs> what are they doing to you, Chino?" We have one, two, three, four spectators. Social distancing in effect. So we're gonna see. We're just gonna see. She's just gonna have a quick little ride. We're gonna see if Chino Bambino is feeling any better. It could happen, you guys. It could be the magical moment. So that's the thing, even though there's a bee. Even though I let the farrier and God decide when to come and treat Chino and it was not that big of a deal, you can use that with anything. If you're worrying about something, if you're stressed about something, you can say, oh, I can't handle this. God, you take it. And you can give it to God and you can say, God, please help me not worry about it anymore. Just let me know when you need me to, to do something and just let it go. And the same thing happens. God just takes over. Like if you try it and you start paying attention it's shocking how it actually works Bouncing everywhere. you want to put a saddle on him we want to see if he's lame right got the saddle on come on molly so the thing that gabby and i are trying to figure out is that we'd like to take chino for a walk and our horses for a walk but now that the whole property's gated in how are we going to do that How does he feel? I don't know. You can't really feels tell? The feels the same? I think it's the pro I think it's the ground. I think it's the ground. Probably. No, he's the most lame over there. Like, out of all three of the horses that get ridden over there, he's only the most lame over there. Yeah, but I don't think he looks that lame. Huh? I don't think he looks that lame. Like, his head's not bobbing. Just around that one corner. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today I had to jump in the shower really quick and then jump out and do horses. That's what happens when you have horses, you don't get to do your shower and your hair at the same time. Sometimes you can't give up things for your horse's health. So I was putting some fruits down there last night for her and she pecked me. Our broody, I got too close. Our broody chicken. So if you watched yesterday's video, you know we got a broody chicken. What have we been doing to help our broody chicken? Um, we've been giving her some fruits and some water in there. Yeah, we've been giving food close her. by so she doesn't feel like she has to leave her, her eggs. So we're going to go out there and check on our broody chicken. Uh, our chickens be waiting for us. Food in there. <laughs> I'll bring you uh, her water, I think. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. It's cold out. It's cold with wet hair. We only oh, watch the water. We only brought treats for the for the broody girl. That was so mean. That's so mean. Uh oh, she switched nests. Oh no, this is her. Wait, that's not her. Wait, where is she? Oh, I see the black and white girl. Oh, there she is. She's still there. Good girl. I see the black and white girl. She's laying. So all five of our hens are laying now. Well, not one because she's broody. So we put water in there for her. Get out, leave her alone, our broody hen. She might want to lay in that spot. Yeah, like look at her, you guys. She'd be broody as heck. Do you think I it'd be mean? It. I know, do you think it'd be mean to call Gabby a broody, broody hen? <laughs> Cause they kind of remind me of each other. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that one hurt. She never bites me. That one hurt. She's, she's a savage. <laughs> she's a savage. Okay, throw the rest down here, actually. There's uh -oh. more. All right, here. You guys want some bananas? You want some bananas? Yes, you do. <laughs> you do too? All right, let's go. We'll be back, little broody girl, and see what's happening. Oh, that girl left the nest with no egg. That was rude. What the heck? She's up there. 
All right, we should leave them. She's like, don't touch me, don't get near me. Yeah, so definitely we got a broody hen. I don't want any more broody hens. Remember when we used to walk to the barn this way every single day in the middle of the winter when we moved here? It was icy as heck. And then we started going the other way. Remember when we tried to use this field for our horses? <laughs> and there's a mini and a pony. And she's saying, give me my food. Just shut up and put that camera away. Oh, you. I do not feed girls who are rude. That was so rude. Oh, you're waiting now. But she doesn't get it. She doesn't understand. I can't kick other horses. Get away right now. Go. 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 Don't pressure me, Missy. Ugh. You're lucky I'm nice. You need to go far away from her. Otherwise, there will be more kicking going on. There you go. That's a girl. That's a girl. Look at this cute butt. Isn't that such a cute horsey butt, though? She's always clean. She never rolls. I mean, she does roll, but she's never dirty. And in case you misunderstand me, I love you too, Willow. I think that's a cute baby butt, too. And she always rolls. <laughs> Look at the dust on that pony. Stormy's got breakfast. Right, there's Chino's breakfast. Where's Finn? Oh, there he is. I feel like Storm's not really drinking too much at night. So Gabby is home and she has not showed up yet. She was up before Sophie. She just takes forever getting ready. All right. I feed him. Okay, there you go. Little Miss Bossy. She's telling him to behave so that he's not a danger to her. There we go. Gosh, she's a much more strict parent than me. Good boy. She shows up. She shows up. She didn't put anything else on. I feel like she's she's growing out of us, so you feel like she's growing out of us? I feel like she's growing rude. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the age. Trust me. If anybody's an expert on 14-year-old girls, it's me. Um, Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, how long you give it till you think he takes it off? Two until minutes. Gets his... two, till minutes. two minutes. Oh, yeah, he did roll. Hey, before I could barely fit his tail in my hand, I need to brush it. Is it thicker? Oh, it's thinner now. Oh. You need to brush it. To Look, he looks like a foal tail up here. One thing I've noticed really about Chino is that he loves his food. Where's your fly mask, Chino Bambino? Sometimes they follow us. <laughs> Are they following us? Yeah. Yeah. You think they have food? <laughs> <laughs> it's I love it. Oh, no one stop. Oh. <laughs> Coming up on the right. He's pretty fast. I'm not not going to lie. I don't really love when they follow us. Good thinking. Got this down to a uh, to an art. Really that was really slow. So the thing that worries me a lot about separating the horses, soon they're gonna be going to a winter barn and they're all gonna be together in a big, oh, massive herd. Mares and geldings all together in one herd over a large amount of property. Makes me so nervous, like, I've been losing sleep over what's gonna happen. All right, well Molly found a new toy that she's in love with. Listen to her. She likes it better than balls and rocks. I think I'll try this a new way. I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know. I'm getting tired of talking. And I need more of a show right now. It's time that you made your mind up. Cause lately all it ever does is change. Feels like we're only talking, talking. No other every day I won't stop like the others I will stay Cause no one's alright And I'm feeling alright I'm playing your game like I know I can win right now Alright, we are done with
with chores. Our barn be looking okay for trainers. Because our trainer be coming. It's our lesson with Fiona today. Yeah, oh, there she is. Like, thank goodness we have toys for them. Just like babies. They don't like store-bought toys. They like things that are, oh my gosh, don't rip open the shavings. Molly, come on. Molly's like, I'm bringing this to the house. You can't stop me. <laughs> she loves it. Oops. The girls and I are going into town because I need to get a few more things for school and I need to get some food for Gabby's clinic this weekend. This is a two-day clinic. This is like our first two-day horse event. I also need to get a few more things for homeschool. I ran out of printing paper. I buy a lot of our curriculum online, so it means printing. So I need to get paper. I need to get food for the weekend. I need to get whatever else we see there. But yeah, I'm excited. I asked Gabby, do we need anything for the horse for the show? And she said that we're completely prepared. So it's not a show, it's a clinic. I keep forgetting that. I'm excited to show you guys what a clinic looks like in Canada. All right, so we are here and these are, whoa. Whoa. I love buying school stuff. Wait, I need this. 100 sheets for $6.97. Oh, that's adorable. We already bought all of our crayons and pencils and, and markers and stuff. I knew you were gonna want those. Those are 25 bucks. So expensive. Gabby has like, Gabby never saw a single thing she's loved that's been cheap in life. These are highlighters, not markers. Uh, um, Gabby said, if you want to get really cheap, get this. Because literally, um, they have more sons of these and they're more expensive than this. Yeah, so you could buy that and take it to the barn. I, on the other hand, have no problem going for cheap. Gabby picked the same pencil case as Sophie. Yeah, you shouldn't pick the same one. Ooh, this is my style. Ooh, that's gorgeous. I'm like a connoisseur of drinking cups. This is my style. Yeah, case. that's a pen good pencil case. Why don't you guys get the same pencil case and then somebody decorate theirs? I'm not decorating. Look at this one's huge. Why don't we make our own pencil cases? Gabby said, imagine rolling up to school with this. He's super cute. Imagine rolling up to school with a mask on. I have to stand six feet apart. So thankfully we don't need all this other stuff. I love that. Let me show you what I want. That one's cute too. Look at that one. I love them all. Gabby loves plain old black. I like this one. Oh, it says Canada on it. It's super cute actually. Oh, these are lunch pails. If we were going back to school, these are what we would have. I would have that. Sophie would have that. I would have this. Gabby would have that. Gabby says it feels great to breathe again. That was actually like the best time I've ever used a mask. Usually I forget to breathe when I wear it and then I start getting lightheaded. But today was kind of enjoyable shopping. I love just like shopping and for fun stuff. I hate food stuff, although we did get a lot of food stuff. Um, when we were walking out, we saw a sign with a pony on it. And what did it say? It didn't say anything. It said, the fence is broken down and it said break free of data charges or data something. So now I'm like, it's not a sign. Let's go home. Make sure it was a Shetland. Look just like Willow, even though she's a miniature horse. There's only one chicken out. No, hi. two chickens out. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay, let's let Gabby go in. Let's see if there's any. Yeah, let Gabby have a pepper. Are there any eggs? There, none of them are laying. What the heck? So I think what's happening here is that she's trying to convince the other chickens to go broody with her. We got two, two tiny eggs today and now the other girls are stuck in there. They're like, let me see what's going on. This is turning into a crazy place. Peppers. We got her some food. Oh, and this little hen's like, I'll eat it all. <laughs> see, so when they go broody though, they're like, she's like, oh, I, no, that's mine. I will never move. Poor little thing. Okay, let's let them get out and have All right, yeah, get out. Get out. Those are for her, you meanies. Gabby. This is a whole new experience for us. It's super fun. Gabby, I got Gabby this shirt at Walmart. Like, it's cute. It's actually super cute. It kind of looks like a base layer. It's black and white. It has long sleeves. But it's, it's really cute. It's a Fairways brand, and it's size small. 
which is a six to eight, but she is like a size two or a three. So it might be a bit big for her. So uh, Fiona told the girls, um, Kaylee and, and Gabby, that when you go to a clinic, that it's important to be like professional and look professional. It's like a whole different ball game than a show, than anything we've ever done before. So they're meant to wear collared shirts and do them all the way up and be like professional looking. So they've got all their colors and everything ready. And yeah, so it's gonna be fun. Anyway, I'm gonna end today's vlog right here because I think I have way too much stuff. And uh, Fiona will be here soon. I'll be starting all fresh again for our riding vlog. So this is it, it was 20 bucks, you guys. And it is gorgeous on her. Zip it all the way up because Fiona says you have to have it zipped up. But I love it with the black and white. I love the material. It's adorable. Adorable. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, you're amazing just the way you are. Even if you're mean and leave mean comments, you're still amazing. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way